make uh, that go. Yeah. Make uh, that go. Make uh, that 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 yeah. that uh, that. That's cool. That's cool. Good morning. Welcome to episode six of the recomposition series. I'll show you everything I'm doing in my morning routine to get me started and to initiate fat loss, initiate muscle building. I also keep it very simple. The first thing I have is a black coffee, no sugar at all. This helps with waking me up, but it also helps with my fasting. So I've been doing a 16 eight and First thing I'll do is have this cup of coffee now. I'll tell you honestly, I woke up this morning with a bit of anxiety, so I'm gonna show you the first thing I do to help me out with that. Come through. Awesome. So a lot of YouTubers, and especially fitness people, don't speak about mental health, but it's normal. You feel different ways all the time. Now for me, I have a bit of anxiety. I do this and have this as a regular routine, and I started this last year. It helps me a lot in terms of decreasing my stress. It also helps in terms of having my mind clear for the rest of the day. So. I'm gonna pop on my earphones. I'm gonna use an app called the Calm app. I'm not sponsored to anything I wish. An incredible app. And it's gonna take me through a 10 minute meditation session. And I will then touch base with you guys right after and I'll tell you guys what's happened with my weight loss and what's happened with my overall training. So I've meditated. What that really helps with is allowing your mind to number one, reset, and also choose what you want to focus on. It's also a great way to start your day. If you have any feelings, if you feel any sort of way, it allows you to get leveled again and then focus on what needs to be done. This morning, I woke up at 182 point eight since last week it's been about five days with the last recomposition episode we have dropped 1.8 pounds i am now losing fat it is melting off my body and this is what i like to call flow when you've been in a caloric deficit consistently been tracking accurately and following a routine you will see that the weight will come off very nicely but since we're also focusing on building muscle i train very hard in the gym so that is the progress so far the weight's dropping i'm hitting my calories i'm hitting my steps between 15 and 20K, I am hitting my macros and I'm sleeping enough. I'm doing everything I need to. And it's almost effortless at this point because I'm doing it so consistently. Nice. Now, what I had anxiety about was work. I feel amazing now. I'm going to take the next hour in my day and reply to all clients that I haven't spoken to since last night and also make adjustments with diet and training. And that's what I get into. And then the next thing I'm going to do is get some steps in. Hi, Terry. As promised, I wanted to give you some feedback over Loom. We are 110% adding muscle tissue, we're building muscle and losing fat. And I'll show you where this is happening, right? Your delts are much more pronounced. And that is clear as day. We're seeing a lot more tissue on your delts and you'll see this more on another angle, but your delts are popping out. So we're starting off really well with building that V taper. Just looking at your back, we're seeing a lot more definition in your back. We're seeing a lot more size and overall, man, I just wanted to clap my hands for you. We've been working together for some time, but this is the best progress that we've seen within a shorter period of time. I keep cardio super simple. I do what I preach and I take a lot of steps. Now, when I start a diet, it's normally between 8,000 steps. At the moment, I'm getting around 15,000 and I will also occasionally do cardio at the gym. But this is my primary form of cardio. This helps me lose weight tremendously. And it's fun walking with her. As you can see, I feel so much better. I'm awake, I'm alert. I just finished replying to all clients, emailed my coach, because we're gonna do a YouTube video talking about building muscle and losing fat. And if you're enjoying the video this far, if you appreciate these vlogs, you want more of them just to see what I'm doing in a day-to-day, -day, hit it with a thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe, and you will win one of two gift cards, HP Labs, Gymshark, Alpha Elite, and I'm doing that each and every single video, and that's a way for me to say thank you. But this is my second cup of coffee, and before midday, that's my cutoff with caffeine so I can be able to get into bed and this is my last cup of coffee my last energy source and it's a leg day so I'm gonna take you guys throughout my leg day I'm gonna show you what intensity I use and this actually helps with being able to burn calories being able to get in a deficit and also you need a certain level of intensity to be able to build up those muscle tissue in the legs especially and give the muscle a reason to stay so I'm gonna have this and I'll see you guys in the gym
Awesome, I'm gonna take you guys through a leg day. Things I'm gonna pay attention to is form and technique, is choosing the right weight, and is also executing the exercise as best as I can and make sure I'm challenging myself. So we have squats first, 20 reps. I'm going to choose the appropriate weight. I feel that I can do the 20 rep by also being able to watch my form. So I'm going to go one and a half plates in kilograms, that's 80 kg. Remember, like I said, I like to walk between my sets. When you get in the gym here for one purpose, we're gonna get into some grime. Shout out to the mandem. Oh boy, don't get me started. I'm an artist, but I'm not starving. I'm laughing, giggling too. Sticks still long like victory fuels. Hands in the air, one hand in a pouch. And my girl at home, she's fixing me food. Look at like Mr. Me Cool. I was never given these tools. Put your weights back, people. <laughs> Don't be that guy in the gym. And guys, I never do these videos because I think people don't want to watch it. But let me know in the comments and like the video if you do. Twenty. I'm psyching myself out for this next set. And if you've done leg extensions right, you know how your quads get on fire. Damn, why you hate and suffocate and speak loud, man? What's the tension for? Do I gotta cut the red from Lord? Do I gotta show you a new way? Smell the flowers, throw you the food. That second set and we go immediately to the next exercise. We're at the narrow leg press. This is very high rep. I would try and talk about the science right now, but in the terms of energy expenditure, you burn a lot more calories on higher reps and also get a good amount of muscle activation. You wanna be pushing through your heel and not through your toes. You wanna be driving the power through the heel. You're gonna feel that a lot more in your legs. Here we go for 20 reps. I don't lock up my knees, that's very dangerous. I used to make that mistake and I go as deep as I can. This allows you to maintain tension on the muscle because you want that muscular damage. And if you maintain tension, you're really testing your muscle versus locking out, resting, and then going in again. You're doing like independent sets instead of accomplishing it with enough reps. Oh, between me and you, I train with like, I need people to start accusing me of foul play in terms of like supplements. This motivates you, it's a good indication that you're doing something that people can't believe you. That you just do naturally. Pay attention to my tempo with my calf workout. Let's go. And that's a wrap for my leg workout. Again, form, choosing the right weight, high intensity, taking a minute walk between sets. I've gotten over 2,000 sets in my time working out. I'm sweating, high intensity, this is what helps. So it's about excellence in every aspect of this entire process, especially to get that desired physique you want. It's all about ticking the boxes and ticking it right. But now, I'm gonna get onto the treadmill and get my steps in. This is just rather cold. I want to get my midsection as warm as possible and especially my upper body. So put on the belt, have my long sleeve on, and then 
to get my sweat on. I have my rain jacket. Put this back in. And we go to work. The speed I go at is six kilometers per hour, and that would be three miles per hour, right? I do that for about a minute, and then I set it to max incline. On here, it's 15%. When my heart rate gets to like 150 beats per minute, then I start decreasing it. Decreasing the incline, that is, until my heart rate gets to 140 beats per minute and then I'll sustain that. If I see my heart rate drops under 140 beats per minute, I'll increase the incline or the speed. So that's usually the incline. So we're getting to a minute here. Now I'm going to set this incline to max at 15%. And in a minute, my heart rate will start shooting up. And then I'll have a look at my watch and see where my heart rate is. Once it's reached like 145, and I start slowly decreasing to where I can sustain it. Boom, here we go. There kicks the incline. Please don't hold on to this. You're cheating yourself. There's no point in getting an incline. If you're gonna hold on. Let go, let your body do the work. That's what you're here for. Don't cheat yourself. Whew. And doing this after a leg day is not easy. That is my morning routine. In the morning, Get alert, nothing too complicated. If you need to get in the right headspace, meditation is fantastic. I get straight to clients, I get to work, reply to all emails, come up with plans. I go do my training, get my steps out of the way. I'm done with training, middle of the day, and now I can focus on everything else. I have a few meetings and that's it. I keep it as simple as possible. I train as well as possible and I'm consistent. And I'll leave it there. Let me know if you guys did enjoy the video. Hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Comment down below your favorite part or if you have any questions to enter into the giveaway, but I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.